Today, I'm going to show you how to use the Relight AI tool to get amazing looking photos. Hey guys, my name is Ben from Ben's Guide and welcome to the video. Luminar Neo has a brilliant tool called Relight AI and I'm going to show you how it's going to benefit everyone, all kinds of photographers and photo editors. So let's jump straight into it so you can see how this amazing tool works. The Relight tool, in my opinion, is probably the best tool that Skylum have shared with us so far in the new Luminar Neo beta version. That's because you can do so much with it and it really can benefit your photo editing. Let's first start off and have a look at how this tool works. Then we can really get into how we can get some really nice edits using it and then complement it using other tools inside Luminar Neo to get some really amazing results. First up, let's use this photo so that you can actually see exactly how it works. If I go into the Relight tool, which is under the Creative tab and open it up, you can see you've got these options, brightness near, brightness far and depth. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you how the depth slider now works really well alongside to really take this tool to the next level. So if I brighten up my near area of the photo here, you can see that this has been brightened up. Now using my depth slider, I can add depth to the light in the image. So have a look at how this works. If I push the depth up now, you can see that this is going further back into the image. And if I bring it down, it's coming towards me. Now, if you're struggling to see that, let's just push this up a little bit more. And let's do the same thing. So you can see that it's affected the whole of the image with more depth and it's affecting less of the image when I bring the depth down. So you can use your brightness near and brightness far sliders and then what you can do is you can use the depth slider to blend the light in your image together. Now, this is something which, in my experience, has never been done before in photo editing software. So the fact that we've got this now is just brilliant. So now you know how it works. Let's actually see how we can make some awesome changes to photos and how it's really going to benefit you guys if you're looking to get this software. So we're going to use this one here, which is a landscape photo. And after that, we'll move on to a portrait photo. And then you'll be able to see how you can use it for different genres of photography really well. So in this image, I'm looking at it and I'm thinking it would be nice to brighten up the foreground of this image right here because it's a little bit dark just to balance it out. So I can then grab my brightness near slider, push that up and then really brighten the near side of my image here. You can see that this part is now a lot brighter. But the problem I have is then it leaves me with this dark patch here in the middle. But it's no problem at all, actually, because all I need to do is change my depth slider, bring it up, and you can see that it just changes the depth. So it blends it now all the way up here into the distance. I've now got this really nicely balanced photo, and it just works really well. You'll see here we've got advanced settings as well. Now, if you're using portraits, dehalo can be really beneficial because sometimes you can get a halo around your subject and it just looks really awful, to be honest. So you can actually use the dehalo to get rid of that. But what we want to pay attention to is warmth near. If we bring the warmth up, you can see that it adds a little bit of warmth in the near side of the image. Really, we want to bring warmth up to the far side of the image because that's where you can see this beautiful golden light pouring through the trees into our picture. So I'm going to push the warmth far up here and you can see that I've added this beautiful golden glow to the image in the background. Now if I have a look at the before and the after you can see this is the before and this is the after. We've balanced the light in the image and we've added tone and colour to just make it even better. You can also though actually use other tools with the Relight AI tool to make it look even more impressive. So if you wanted to actually tone your whole image and add more color to it, you could use the toning tool. So what I could do here is use the saturation. First, I'll choose shadows because you can change the color in your shadows and highlights. Then I'll push up my saturation. And then I can choose the color that I want to saturate in the shadows. So let's go for this orange. And now I've added this beautiful orange golden glow to the shadows in the image. And of course, you can use the saturation slider to add more or to add less, but I think about there is nice while keeping it still looking quite natural. Then you can do the same with your highlights if you want to add a golden glow into the highlights as well, push the saturation up and then do the same here and change it to that golden glow. Let's take a look at the before, which is this right here and then the after. You can see that we've really transformed the look of the image and just added a lot more to it just by using these two tools together, the Relight AI and the toning tool. Now let's have a look at portraits. 
The Relight AI tool, I think, works even better for portraits because you can do even more with it. So if I open up the Relight AI tool with this beautiful portrait, we can see how we can make some changes and take it just to that next level. So brightness in here, I want to brighten up the subject. I want to make her look brighter and then have the background look darker. So I'm going to push up the brightness on my subject. This is going to separate her from the background a bit more and brighten her up. If you've gone too far, which I think that's a little bit too much, I could just bring it down here and then just make it a little less intense. Now with the brightness far, I actually want to darken this down. And to do that, I can just bring my far down because the opposite of bright is dark. And there you go. You can see that I've now darkened the background and the subject is separated from the background a bit better. But now a bit of the background is actually leaking onto the subject. So I can use the depth slider to actually wrap the background around the subject while keeping her brighter. Now, just to brighten up a little bit more, I'll push up the brightness near and you can see that we've now got this beautiful portrait photo which stands out from the background and you can see that the subject or the lady in the image is really standing out from the background itself. Following that up, you can now go into the advanced settings so I can add some warmth to the subject or to the lady and then that's going to give this beautiful warm look to her skin and to her body. And then I can use the warmth far to actually contrast that with some cooler looking tones in the background. And I think that we've got this lovely balance now between warmth in the foreground, warming up the subject, and then this cooler tone in the background. So this is where we can really now transform the image. So, so this is the before right here, and now this is the after. You can see that this has been completely transformed, but Stay with me because I'm going to use the mystical tool. This mystical tool right here is what really takes it to the next level. So I'm going to push this up and look what happens to the image. It just transforms the image and gives it this beautiful, soft glow. And I think this just works so well. This is the before now. And then this is the after. Once again, you can see how using the Relight AI tool with all the tools inside Luminar Neo can just transform the look of your photos.